Edmonton is the capital city of Alberta, a province of Canada, known for its natural beauty, culture, history, and attractions. Edmonton is a city for everyone. If you are planning to move to Edmonton to live, retire, raise a family or a job, let's try to find out pros and cons of living in Edmonton. Edmonton enjoys four distinct seasons each year. Summer is most often quite beautiful with long evenings, gorgeous sunsets and very comfortable temperatures. Fall gives the most beautiful golden foliage to view. Winter, although very cold, blesses with scenes one would expect to see on Christmas card. Edmonton is cold dark and its weather is known as extremely unpredictable. One day it could be snowing and overcast and the next day could be sunny and beautiful. The city has long winters and can get pretty cold ranging from minus 10 to minus 40 Celsius. The snow season typically lasts from October through May. Thunderstorms and hailstorms are common occurrences. Edmonton covers a large area resulting in a need to have your own transportation. The majority of people living in city primarily use private vehicles to get around. The city is currently adding additional bike lanes to number of roads for cyclists. The city has an efficient but limited public transit system. You can access transit using day passes, tickets or monthly passes. With respect to roads in city, locals claim to have two seasons, winter and construction. Because of the harsh winters, the road tends to get more potholes than average. Pothole season is real thing in Edmonton. Get used to road construction. During the summers, Edmonton city streets often seem to be under construction semi-permanently. Everywhere you look, there is a construction. Edmonton is famous for its beautiful River Valley Park system. The North Saskatchewan River Valley, which offers over 100 kilometers of recreational trails, wildlife viewing, and city views with nearly 20 major parks. There are also swimming pools and golf courses located in the valley. If you are coming from a place that doesn't have mosquitoes, you will learn pretty quick that these are the most annoying bugs ever. Buy bug spray and after bite if you are spending a lot of time outside. The largest major industry is petrochemicals. The region is rich in oil and natural gas, which has given Edmonton the title of oil capital of Canada. The city also has other wide range of employment sectors. There are significant opportunities in information technology, banking and biotechnology. According to study, Edmonton is the worst city in Canada to be a woman. The city has largest gender gap in employment incomes. It is disappointing but unsurprising. The city is built on male-dominated oil industry. Compared to Edmonton, Quebec's child care subsidies have helped move over 1 lakh single mothers out of poverty and into job over the last 15 years. Edmonton housing is much more affordable than some of other big cities in Canada. The average home is around $450,000 compared to places like Vancouver and Toronto where it's just over a million. You can also enjoy paying low rent everywhere in Edmonton. The crime rate in Edmonton is nearly 50% higher than national average, while violent crime is 18% and property crime is 62% higher than nationwide. Most local crimes are gang and drugs related. The crime rate is over 20% higher than Vancouver and over 40% higher than Calgary. Edmonton's reputation of being the homicide capital of Canada though is inflated. Mm -hmm. 
Edmonton is very easy to navigate. It's set up on grid system to easily find an address. Anthony Handy Ring Road circles around the entire city, making it easy and quick to get around. If there aren't any accident on the road, traffic flows really well, just like most cities of million people. Edmonton can sometimes get a bit congested. High-level bridge that takes people from north to south side of the river can occasionally be an issue as large trucks neglect checking the max height restriction and get themselves stuck causing quite traffic jam. Then there is the construction. It's awful and causes traffic congestion frequently. Edmonton truly deserves the nickname Festival City as it hosts over 50 festivals annually, including the Ice Castle at Howe Lake Park, the Children's Festival, A-Days, Oak Fest, the Heritage Festival, the Fringe Theatre Festival, and the large numbers of farmers' market. There is always something going on to keep you entertained. If you are beach lover, Edmonton will disappoint you. There is no ocean nearby. It is 1200 kilometers far, nearly 12 hour drive. Alternatively, you can drive two and a half hours to Jasper and enjoy the magnificent Rockies and Pyramid or Patricia Lake. Edmonton is third cheapest city in Canada and shopping in Edmonton would be incomplete without West Edmonton Mall. It is the largest shopping complex in North America. The mall is destination in itself and you could easily spend whole vacation there, enjoying attractions like an underground aquarium, Galaxy Land amusement park, water park, mini golf, bowling, theater and hotels. Edmonton is one of the fastest growing cities in Canada and it's facing a growing problem from vehicles clogging street parking in residential neighborhoods near downtown. People don't have places to park themselves. The streets are plugged. It's our KP city, so people start parking illegally. Friendliness and community are two of Edmonton's most outstanding characteristics. The friendly local folks are welcoming to newcomers and visitors. You will never be bored or short of friends in Edmonton. Racism and hate-based violence are things that Edmontonians are ready and willing to tackle. But changing racist attitudes may take time. While the situation is improving with more newcomers, it seems that many locals who were born and only lived there don't have a reasonable understanding of the world outside of Alberta's border. Edmonton hosts a number of international sporting events. The city has professional hockey and football teams with proud sports fans. There are many opportunities to participate in winter sports, skiing or snowboarding. Other than football and ice hockey, Edmonton has poor reputation when it comes to other sports including baseball, basketball, soccer, lacrosse, rugby or cricket compared to other cities in Canada. Please like, comment and share this video and subscribe our channel. Press bell icon to see updates on our latest videos.